Good morning, coffee time with Kelly. I have the water in. Glug, glug. Still have Bert. Probably will have Bert for a little while. I think when I said I was going to get a new Keurig, that was just a passing thought, you know? So the coffee today, what are we using? I went to Wally World, Walmart, and I picked up some of these, the McCafes. And I probably will never buy these again, um, unless they taste like heaven, because they don't fit in my case. You have to really kind of work it to get them in there. They're huge compared to the other ones. Like, look at that, it's crazy, eh? And look at the amount of packaging. I seriously didn't even understand these. I thought, well, you have to put them in here and what? That doesn't make a sense, I don't get it. So I had to read the box to find out that that's not quite how it works. With these McCafe pods, you have a little tab that says open. So you open it up, knock out the pod, and this is what you have. It's kind of like, um, like a tea filter almost, or a coffee filter, I guess you could say. So yeah, it's a bit odd. And look at the amount of packaging. Bad for the environment. So bad. So we pop that puppy in. Turn on the machine might be a really helpful idea. Can't do it right ever. <sighs> and the blue light special is going, which tells us press the button. And now it's a red light special. And I don't have a cup. Ah! No, I have a cup. The cup that I'm using today is one that uh, somebody gave me for Christmas, and you may have seen this cup recently if you watch Living Like Julie. Uh, it's the owl mug from Starbucks. So I'll just... And it doesn't fit. Oh no, what will I do? Oh, there's always an answer for something. Pull that out. See how dirty that is. Gross! And then just... It still doesn't fit! Oh no! This is bad! That's okay. Old Faithful fits. So I'll just do like a transfer from one to the other. Hey, sometimes these things happen. There's no need to get all freaked out and upset about it. That wasn't really freaked out and upset. That was just like, oh my god, no. I don't want another accident. Put some milk in here. While that's brewing, I thought I'd tell you what happened to me yesterday. Here's a clip from yesterday. So, um, this happened today. <laughs> yeah, we had a little problem where I live. <sighs> but it's a good way to see what you got and clean up the crap. <laughs> yeah, we can just say goodbye to this and say hello to this. I got me a nice new tap with a nice new sprayer. I am a happy girl. Now, I get to deal with this crap. Of course I edited it because I had to have a little bit of fun with the the whole schmozzle of 
stuff that went on. Today I'm going to use some of this hazelnut, the powdery stuff. While Bert has his leek, I'll put some of this in. It acts as a bit as sugar too. Um, I don't use sugar when I use this stuff. Black coffee. I could not drink black coffee, I don't think, if you paid me. There's a lot of things I would do for money, but I'm not even sure if that falls under one. That's how bad I don't like black coffee. Yeah. There's a lot of water in there today because I was using a bigger cup, so I put more water in. Colleen, did you get snowed in? I heard that you were getting more snow yesterday. So, of course, they were saying that Maine was getting hammered again with snow, so I wondered about you. Hope everything's okay. Here we go. Let's try this without destroying the place and having a four-hour cleanup. Oh, I knew there'd be a four-hour cleanup. God, just one day. <laughs> Oh, goodness. These things do happen, if you're Kelly. So how does it taste, now that we have this all cleaned up? <sighs> yeah, um, McDonald's coffee in the K-Cup pods is really, really good. Do they sell it in Tassimo? I don't even know if they do or not, but is it ever good? Oh my goodness, that's yummy. I mean, I love McDonald's coffee when I get it at the drive-thru. It's pretty good stuff. But this is, wow, I love it. I've actually stopped drinking Tim Hortons coffee in favor of McDonald's coffee. And now that Burger King bought Tim Hortons, and I know they're into their cost-cutting measures, I'm not all that sure that I want to know what they're going to do to our Canadian institution. Why is it really, really good? I will tell you why it's really good. You know when you go to Tim Hortons and you buy the K-Cup pods from Tim Hortons, and you bring them home thinking, they're going to taste like the Tim Hortons coffee you get at the restaurant, and they don't, and you're so disappointed. And some of you, including myself, will get a box of Starbucks K-Cups, and we'll try those, and they don't taste like the specific Starbucks blend that you get at your local barista. Guess what? This tastes just like the McDonald's coffee you get at the restaurant. Yes, it does. Mmm. It's bold. It is not bitter. It's got a beautiful taste. I can't... I, I, that's helpful as all heck, isn't it? But I can tell you it's not bitter. It's bold. It's not over strong. It doesn't taste like, you know, overboiled burnt coffee. It's just really lovely. It's really nice and it's smooth too. Uh, I would definitely get this again. I'm just so torn about the packaging. Damn it! Oh. Shall we go outside? Before we go outside, look who I have on my computer. I was starting to watch her uh, while I was waiting for this to unthaw, believe it or not. And the reason it needed to unthaw, not the coffee, but the cup, is that it was sitting in my car overnight. And I forgot I, to bring it in. I was like, oh, I was going to use my owl mug. Oh, crap. Now I have to go out to the car. But anyway, while I was waiting for it to unthaw, I was watching Natalie, who is currently talking about, I'm pretty sure, her MAC fluid line versus the ELF one. And she has on her eyes, one eye has ELF and the other eye has MAC. And truthfully, Natalie, to me, looks pretty good to me. I don't know. I can't use those liquid eyeliners, gel liners. I just, my eyes are so crepey that I cannot pull it off. It looks redonkulous. Okay, so now we're going outside. It's a beautiful day and I can't sing. So just stop now before people press the thumbs down button. Okay. <laughs> It snowed a bit last night, not much. The fire hydrant 
our weekly measurement of how much snow we have here in the fort is, uh, yeah, nothing much. Nothing much at all. But there's snow over there. You can definitely see the huge piles from when they have to plow. Like, that's pretty flippin' huge up the side of that building. And, um, yeah, it's getting foggy again, as you can see, because it's cold. Yeah. And there's no puppy around here right now, as in baby dog, as in angel, there you are. You always come out with mummy. How come you don't come out with your mummy this morning? Hey? Is everything okay? Everything is fine. <laughs> You're so cute. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's Coffee Time with Kelly. Have a great day, and I will talk to you later.